Good morning, world. I want to jump right into this. I'm a, um, I write on Quora, top writer for 2018, just to let you know. Um, <clears throat> and one of the questions was, um, what's it like to be over 60, implying that you're all washed up and over the hill? <laughs> I can't remember exactly how the question was asked, but I've been ne meaning to write about it because there's so many great things about it. Um, <clears throat> first of all, I feel like I'm younger than I was before when I was younger. You know, if I'd known uh, getting older would be this fun, I would have done it sooner. And it's really true. You... Um, just all the fakeness falls away, <laughs> for one thing. <laughs> and you realize that it's too exhausting to keep up. Um, that's such a relief. So um, anyway, so the person asking the question, um, implying that, oh my God, over 60 is so old. Just the, just the nature of the question, how the question was asked, I wish I could remember exactly, but <clears throat> It, well, you could just tell in the question that there was an expectation of a lot of bad stuff. And I, I can't think of one thing that's really bad. Um, I mean, I've had about eight lives, <laughs> and I appreciate that. I appreciate um, growing up and having this many decades. So that's the thing you get to a more authentic place you can choose that now there's a lot of people that probably choose talking about their surgeries I was out hiking this morning <laughs> and three um, older women they look like they could have been 80 were hiking past me talking about surgeries and I thought you know if uh, I get to that place I'm not gonna talk about um, health challenges in a way that takes up less than 10 seconds because it just sort of keeps it front and center, you know, like anything. Um, you start to realize that your focus is uh, far too precious to be wasting on negative stuff. So that's one thing that age has taught me and that uh, you can reinvent yourself at any age. Absolutely, positively you can and I've done it. So that's you know, once you do it once, you realize that, oh, I really could do that if I wanted to, and if I don't do it, it's either because I don't want to or I'm lazy. Um, laziness is a big problem. <laughs> when people are jealous of you, it's almost always laziness. Um, because, you know, especially here in a first world country where we have all of these options, um, if you want something, you can work hard to get it or work smart or whatever you wanna call it, whatever those digital marketers call it. Um, but there's a lot of fake stuff out there too. Um, and it's not gonna be fast and easy like everybody um, promotes online, fast and easy. No, it's not. <laughs> Things can be difficult and um, slow. So listen, I just want to, I'm going to go on Quora. If you are interested, you can read Quora.com, Q-U-O-R-A. Uh, I'm on there a lot. I don't even have that link in my bio. I'm going to put it down below. Um, because people ask me questions about different things, and I'm, I talk about Hawaii and changing your life and travel. So if you want to find me on there, it's just under my name, Mary Bartnikowski. So, hey, thanks for all of the comments. I love it when you guys comment because it makes me know that it's um, making an impact with you. And also, I love it when you come up with new topics. So, I will talk to you later and have a wonderful rest of your week.